Hello and welcome to NHL 25 Puck and Play series. As you know, this year my main account is full no money spent, but I want to see what kind of team at the end of this year I can build by using just players I get from pucks. So let me explain the rules. Rule number one, I'm not allowed to use auction house in any circumstances. Rule number two, I cannot use any free cards I get in the game. I can indeed use all the fodder I pull in the pucks to upgrade any upgradable cards if I ever pull them in pucks. And now let's go to the rule number three. For every win I get myself 3000 hot points, for every loss I get myself 1150 hot points. And for every rage quit I get myself 6250 hot points. I was generous enough to quit all my placement games in Rivals, so we will also start in Division 6 to see how far money can take us. And to start all this I will have 20,000 hot points to build this team, so let's go and spend some money. Okay, we have a blank team and there is really nothing in it, so obviously we need 20 good players for our first Division 6 game. Before I go and open the packs I just want to say one thing, the packs are at a ridiculous price and there is really nothing you can pull, so please guys, don't ever open packs don't spend money on this game. I'm only doing this for content because I probably will get the money back and in general it's really not worth it. But I will probably do all three of these early access silver and gold. So I don't know, give me something good. Just I need McDavid, you know, everyone is pulling McDavid left and right. Okay, we're getting at least an 80 overall. That's a good start. Like I'm sending everything to my collection and then basically what, what I will do is we'll put the best team together and see where it goes. We also will open some more expensive packs. Ooh, 81. That's a good one. So we are getting something. Everything what I will be like pulling as a duplicate, I will sell it. And if I will start making enough coins from these pack and play, I will stop spending money. And then we will just use coins for the packs. Okay, and the last one. So far, we only get an 81 and an 80 overall, which is quite bad. Ooh, 77. Oh my god, okay, we have a goalie. We needed a goalie. Obviously, everyone needs a goalie. The next thing what I want to do is open four of these early access premium 75 plus packs because they look good. They really look good, but the cost of it is not good. So hopefully maybe these packs will be better. 78, come on. Give me at least a color change. 76, oh my God, this is not looking good. Okay, we're getting some defensemen, but I need color changes. What the hell? Okay. Did Trash use all the pack luck and didn't left anything for anyone else? Kolzig, oh my God. This may be the worst pack ever. I have a feeling that what will happen is I will spend all 20k points and we will not pull anything. So let's see. Okay, 77. Give me a color change for the love of God. Oh my God, this is not good. Mm. Okay, we got at least an 80 overall. Let's go. This will be a hard YouTube series if these are the packs we are getting every single time. Okay, at least we get Daniela Pesov as well. Like the odds of pulling an 82 is 51% and I didn't pull a single one. Okay, we still have two of these packs left. Come on. I have a fate here. Come on. Be nice to me. Okay, 77, 75. Come on. This is a ripoff. I'm telling you we are halfway there. Okay, 84. Queen Hughes, that's a huge one. That's definitely a huge pull. Considering the highest overall card at this point is, what, 85 McDavid? Which obviously we are not pulling because he hates me. Come on. Oh my god. Please, the next one is not a color change. Okay. And then we have one of these left. I will not gonna lie. This is not looking good. This is definitely not looking good. We so far only had three color changes. 75, 79. This is ridiculous. Like... Oh my god, let's just keep trying. I might actually have the worst pack luck ever. I don't even want to continue doing this. Like, what the hell? Okay, Adam Fantilli, that's one color change. And that's pretty much it. Okay, now we will do this early access NHL premium pack. The chance of pulling an 85 is only 2.9% but you have to do what you have to do. At least we are getting 380 plus overall cards. First one is 80 Rasmus Anderson, 81 Thomas Hurdle, and 80 Aaron Ekblad. We already have his card, so I will use his untradeable and I will just sell this one. Okay, we basically, what we will do, 14 players with a guaranteed of 82 plus overall player and 380 players. Oh my God, this is bad. We are here for the packs, so let's just open it. Let's just open it and see what we get. 79, 74, and ooh, okay, Chris Kreider, at least we get a color change. Are we getting any more color changes? I would love to get more color changes. Okay, 81, 80, okay, 81 again, let's go. At least we are getting some color changes, but we didn't pull a single good pull. 
This is it. We are pulling a tradable power up icon and that will make me a lot of coins. And the last one will be 74. Please give me a good one at least. Okay, we're getting Owen Nolan. Right-handed winger. This is not bad. I can technically use a fodder to upgrade him, so that's an 83 overall card. Not the best, not the worst, but hey, I can sell him. So I have 1,100 points left, and I could possibly open this mini player pack, but because it's untradeable, I'm refusing to open any untradeable packs, because worst case scenario, at least I want to sell what I'm getting. So I'll be opening this Jumbo Premium pack, and I think I also will be able to open this base pack. Oh, we also have a free pack. Hey, we can always open a free pack. You never know what you can get. Probably nothing, but... Bang! Okay, 71, let's go. Jumbo Premium Pack. 950 points. 72. Oh my god, some crap. A lot of crap. 66, 69, 75. Oh my god, give me something good. Okay, 76. At least we are getting something about... Oh my god, Gilkinson's looks so weird in these Tampa Bay Lightning jerseys. Okay, we're getting some logos, some jerseys. All oh, this will be sold. 68, 65, 68, and nothing here. We may actually have the worst pack luck ever. And we are left with one base pack. 130 British pounds down the drain. Goal equipment, 61, 62. Okay, some logos. Some bronze, which you don't really have any use in. 69. That's a good card to end with. So now when we open all our packs, let's go and put a team together to see who can we actually put in our team, how the team is looking, and then we'll go and play our first game in Division 6. I'm actually glad that I'm in Division 6 because it will just help me to win more games, earn more points, and open more packs in the next episode. I will release one episode each week, so hopefully as we go and as we progress, the packs also become better. By the way, guys, I will be using the cards I pulled in my starter pack, which is the power-up icon, on an X Factor because technically it's a pack and I didn't really bought them in the auction house. So in our starter pack, we got Mike Fisher and we also got Lucas Raymond. Both of them are not perfect, but you know what? You have to take any help you can get. So we have our team together. We have Mike Fisher as a first line center. We also have Owen Nolan, who I probably will sell as soon as we will pull someone else because there is no point of keeping that expensive card in your lineup. If I would be allowed to use auction house, I would probably sell him and buy much better players, but it is what it is. Chris Kreider, Adam Fantilli, Thomas Hurdle, Lucas Raymond, Frank Vetrano, Rob Holtz, and Quentin Byfield, and then Yegor Sharangovich, Jared McCann, and Fleury. And in the defense, we have Rasmus Anderson with Quinn Hughes, with Morgan Riley, Aaron Ekblad. Like I said, I already had his untradeable card in the starter pack, so I used his card. Alex Petrangelo and Thomas Hurdle. And in the net, we will go with Mark, Andre Fleury, and as a backup, who really cares who is your backup? I probably will put some untradeable, so this also can be sold. So basically, what I want to tell you, 200k hot points gave me an 80 overall team at the start. It's definitely not worth it. So guys, don't open the packs. You, you basically saw I had the worst pack luck ever and it started in NHL 24 and it now continues. So EA is probably mad at me because I'm not spending that much money anymore on the game. So, you know, we just have to take it. So the team take my money will be facing someone. I don't know, someone probably in Division 6. It looks like no one is as bad as I am because I'm searching and searching and I cannot find anyone who want to play against Division 6 player. Okay, it looks like we finally have a game. Take my money, one dolly pucks. Okay, I'm really confident that I will get a lot of hate for doing these videos because I'm opening packs and so on. And I'm saying, guys, you don't have to, and I'm just doing this for content. Oh my god, the gameplay feels so slow. Can you imagine we lose the first game to Division 5 player? Crider, 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 Crider. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There is like, I cannot do D to D because my defensemen are silly. At some point we will get enough, like I said, uh, coins, then we will need to stop spending money. And that's like all the idea. Ooh. Okay, the flurry was actually impressive there. No way, he made a save. Raymond? Ah, oh, come on, Raymond. Everyone loves Raymond. No one loves Raymond if Raymond does this. Like, what a goal was that? Not only then we don't have a pack luck, we also stink at this game. Okay, it's not over. We still have two periods and three minutes. So he have Forsberg, I have Mike Fisher. With the way he is going, I don't think I will even be able to afford a pack. Come on, Kreider. Ah, oh, that was close. No, 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 no. Like, what was Fleury doing there? This is a disaster, guys. There is no way we are coming back from this. 
I never in my life lost to a Division 5 player. Okay, Morgan Riley shoots. Perfect 1T. Let's go. We are back in the game and uh, the guys strike. Oh, come on. How did you miss that? Oh, what? What's happening there? No, 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 no. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. where's the puck? Where's the puck? Anderson, you better be good. Thank you. That was a really nice play. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Whew, okay. Two periods, we're down only one goal, so there still is a chance. So basically, how good I am at this game will indicate how much money I can spend at this game. Wow, 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 wow. Like, what the hell just happened there? How is he getting Forsberg again? Like, is Forsberg never tired? Fisher? Oh, what the hell? Yeah, for people who was worried about me spending a lot of money in this... Oh my god, YouTube series, don't worry. We are definitely not spending anything because we stink. After this game, we'll be 0-6. I know the first five games we basically dropped on purpose, but I was just doing it for this reason. Let's go! That's a huge one. I will just go for one-timers because it's an OP thing and you have to do what you have to do. Oh my god, like... Like, what on earth is this game? Like, seriously, that's where I passed? You had like 16 seconds left and you basically did this to me. Ooh, can you imagine if that would go in? Can you just imagine? Yep. We are only spending 1,150 hot points for the next episode because even 200k points didn't bought me a win. So this is another thing I usually say. You can buy yourself any card you want in the game, but you just cannot buy yourself skills. Okay, guys, that will be it for the first episode. I hope you enjoyed and have a good one. See you on the ice.